Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Ziggy's Workshop. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the emergency egress windows that are on almost every travel trailer uh, that is modern travel trailers. Um, people should actually know how to use these um, for the purposes of escaping in the event of a fire or another emergency. A lot of people don't even know to exercise to make sure that the windows open and close properly um, and how to actually get out of the window. In the event of an emergency, what you want to do is you want to pull on this screen and it pops right out. I'm going to take the screen away here. This window can then be completely pushed out so that you can escape through the window. I would recommend that you teach your family members, adults and children, on the proper use of getting out of this through this window and how to use it <clears throat> as you would any fire drills in your own home. In addition, these windows for us pose a little bit of a problem in our bedroom which we are filming from now we only have these egress windows we don't have jealousy windows or anything that we're in a small travel trailer its overall length is 21 feet so when these windows are opened like so and you squeeze through the narrow passageway if you just bump this the window wants to close. We have also been in a windy area where the wind rattles the window and takes it and then it falls out, slams across the side, and that poses the risk of damaging the siding on the, on the rig, bending the window frame, or worse yet, shattering the glass. The solution that I've come up with, and this is my solution, our solution, um, is to take and peg this window. Now it can't move. This is an old-fashioned uh, clothespin that I've cut the one leg off, shortened the other leg, narrowed it down a bit, and all I do or all we do is slide it in there. Now, this window cannot open unintentionally and it can't close either. Um, you can tap it all you want. What it does is it defeats, if you look closely here to open or close these windows, you have to lift up on them. What this does is stops that lifting motion from occurring. I know that other people jam matchbooks or other things in here um, but I wanted something a little bit more elegant than a matchbook uh, I would also suggest that in your training with your family that you instruct them that if the windows are open that a peg is going to be in there and before trying to open the window they must remove the peg or whatever you put in there a matchbook or a peg I made these again out of a out of a simple uh, old-fashioned clothespin right in this area I have a piece of the one side of velcro and on the back side of the clothespin I have the other piece it kind of matches the decor that we have in here it keeps it lo located right next to each window we have three four of these windows in the trailer um, two in the bedroom one in the bathroom and a very small window like this over our couch and each one of the windows has one of these um, again when the window is closed <clears throat> it stores right here open the window peg the window in place the wind can't open it it can't flop back in um, and if somebody were to actually try pulling on this window, they would have to pull very, very hard 
to get this rod to come through the window. It, is it impossible? No, but uh, you know it would be difficult for them to do uh, without doing it with some intent and purpose. I hope you like our idea. If you do, please like and subscribe to video. Um, we're going to be doing many more videos as time goes on. Uh, again, please like and subscribe. And as always, whatever projects you're doing, have fun with your projects and enjoy your day. Thank you.